All right, today we're talking about this sleek, shiny blue box. You mean a microwave, Mark? No. I didn't a, know Dremel was going into microwaves. No, it is a Dremel, Josh, but it is not a microwave. Right. It is a 3D printer. It's called the Dremel Idea Builder. And I've got a, have you ever messed around with these? I have not, to be honest with I you. I did. I got a chance to mess around with it, and it's pretty cool. And it seems complicated or mm -hmm. and difficult, but it's not. Yeah. So how, where, where do you start with it, using one of these? Well, if you start with, you got to make a shape. You got to make a shape. You use a computer program. Simple. There's free ones out there like SketchUp. Um, and then once you have your shape, sometimes you have to convert it into a Dremel compatible file, and there's free programs that do that. But once you have your shape and your file, you suck it into, import it into the Dremel software, which okay. is extremely easy to use. And basically, it's this: when you get into the software, you'll see a like a virtual build plate like this. Cool. And you just take your shape and you put it where you want it, and you put it in the middle. And then you take your uh, jump drive, plug it into here, pick the file you want. Into the uh, that seems pretty simple. Yeah, you put this. Uh, so how does it operate in here then? Well, you put the build plate on, like so. And it's got a spool of plastic that it gets fed up into this extruder. Okay. And this extruder moves, you know, back and forth and builds, slowly builds layers. And that build platform will kind of lower down as it's the building layers. Okay. So everything gets built up in layers, layers of hot plastic that cools and it turns it into a physical shape. Yeah. So you can make, well, I made this, Family Handyman. I like that. Cool. That's going on my desk. I actually painted oh. that one. Yeah. But they come, the spools come in. Oh, Dremel has 10 colors, but I think there's other. It's a fairly common plastic that you can buy probably tons of colors. And uh, how long does something like this take then? This took, I think this took about an hour. It is. It does take a while. I made this for my granddaughter, my first and only granddaughter. And you cannot call me grandpa, grandpa. by the way. You cannot call me grandpa. So this took like maybe 45 minutes. Okay. So that's and not bad. No. So a spool, you could probably, a, one spool costs 30 bucks and you can get maybe 25 of these out okay. of it. Wow. So yeah, it's pretty slick. Um, How much are they? They are eight ninety nine at Lowe's. Okay. And what uh, what do you do with it? Yeah, what? That's my question. I have, <laughs> I don't. Uh, I it is the I have question. Not everybody, with one of these. if you go online, everybody's saying, "What do you do with a three D printer?" It really? Seems like endless, sort of. Kind of. You can make a lot of cool little knickknacks. There's guys that make hooks and toilet paper holders and logos and Christmas trees. Oh, it's yeah. really kind of the. It's just kind of the experience of getting to know. I mean, this is kind of a whole new deal, and it's it's just basically it's just a lot of fun to mess yeah. around with. Cool. So eight ninety nine at Lowe's. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. Need some basic skills, but otherwise, uh, yeah, it's, it was it fun. Seems simple. Yeah. Stay tuned for more stuff we love. So you're telling me this thing actually won't cook my lunch? It won't cook your lunch, no.